The problem of weight reduction through diet has been under study for several years. Waistlines are coming back and are continuing to lose one and a half to two pounds a week. Hope you're having an awesome day. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back if you've been here before. This channel contains videos that can help heal more than 90% of any health, wellness, and body image challenge. Please share this channel with people to help them as well. It is so hard to find legitimate info these days, especially online. Call me now for your free tarot reading. My goal is to share all of this with you so that you can reach your health, wellness, and body image goals faster and more efficiently in your own chosen lifestyle. So please subscribe. All right, today, did you know that this month, which is March currently, not sure when you're watching this, but March 2019, this is Nutrition Month. So we're gonna talk about the absolute leading edge nutritional science. I'm not up on all these gimmicky fad things like the South Beach diet, the Atkins diet, any diet, in my personal opinion, that promotes completely axing out one of the three macronutrients that we all need for major functions of our health and body. I just don't personally think that any of this will sustain lasting overall optimal health and wellness. So what am I about to talk about? It's called metabolic typing. Otherwise, it is 100% entirely individualized nutritional typing. I'm sure we've all heard of the blood type diet, the body type diet. Let's say you and I have the exact same blood type or body type. What's going on physiologically with all of the chemical processes and communications going on inside of our bodies are still going to be entirely different. Each one of us is entirely different with how our bodies metabolize, process, and utilize the foods that we're putting into it. When it comes to eating, no matter what, there is no one size fits all approach. And this is due to what's called biochemical individuality. So this is what identifies a person's individual genetically based nutrition and diet requirements. A certain dietary program that helps one may only produce few, if any, beneficial results for another. No two people are alike on a biological or physiological level. So what is this really and why is it better than the blood type or the body type diet? Are you listening to me? I look into your eyes and I can't tell whether you're getting anything I'm saying. And the reason why is because it is a dynamic, comprehensive system that encompasses all of the body's adaptation or homeostatic mechanisms. Homeostatic mechanisms would be how the body is continuously trying to balance itself out. Did you see the memo about that? It doesn't just measure a single fixed variable like the blood type or body type. Instead, it takes into account the many different biochemical or metabolic variables which are subject to continual change and flux over the course of our entire lifetimes. I'm a big fan of homeostasis. Homeostasis refers to a system's ability to regulate its internal environment and maintain a constant condition of properties like uh, temperature or pH. Worst bedtime story ever. <laughs> so our Anna, our autumn today junior our autonomic nervous system that's our involuntary nervous system so the one that just keeps us breathing without us having to focus on it it keeps our heart beating without us having to think about it imagine having to think about making your heart beat all those times every single day <laughs> no no so our autonomic nervous system plays a very large role in determining metabolic individuality and this largely influences health or disease in the body. It is the chief controller of the sympathetic nervous system, which is our fight and flight response nervous system, the stress response, and thus it is also the head regulator of our metabolism. When one of these systems is out of balance, that is where disease processes can start to develop. Uh -oh, spaghetti. Specific foods and nutrients 
have the natural capacity to strengthen whichever part of our systems is weaker. And this results in metabolic typing, helping to establish the balance in that autonomic nervous system and thus the rest of our entire body. Did you get that memo? Great research was done into discovering the interrelationship between the oxidative system, which means the rate at which our cells convert the food we eat into energy, and the autonomic nervous system, which predicts with far greater accuracy exactly which foods and nutrients a person needs to achieve achieve metabolic balance for their individual system. So how was this discovered? How do we know this? How was it developed? This research actually dates back so many decades to the 1930s. This is when extraordinary anthropological expeditions were taken to very remote corners of the globe. And this is where the link between the more modern ways of eating and the increase of chronic degenerative diseases was discovered. Due to vast variations in climate, indigenous food supplies, environmental conditions, and the principles of evolution, adaptation, heredity, etc., we humans evolved over many centuries in ethnic groups and different cultures, which in turn developed distinctly different dietary requirements. Years later, there was even more in-depth work done, which was remarkable in closely examining what these variations in genetically based nutritional needs were from a metabolic or biochemical perspective. So what I have been working on over the years is helping people identify their own individual metabolic type and thus provide dietary solutions that are tailored to each person's specific biochemical needs. Basically, it is a foundational approach to then have the ability for your body to develop overall health, wellness, and a more effortlessly maintained body image. It is not as hard as you think. And no, it does sound crazy complicated and like you're gonna have to eat differently than everybody you know and that you have to be strict with it. That is absolutely not how it is. There is no calorie counting. There is no food weighing. There is no food measuring. Your body will naturally tell you what portions you need. It'll tell you how much you need of one thing, how much you need of another. And this is not do eat this, don't eat that necessarily. It's simply more like seeing your plate as a kind of pie chart where a chunk of it will be fats and oils that you cook with or drizzle on your food like salad dressings and such, some protein and some carbs. And remember, carbs aren't always wheat substances. A carb, the rule of thumb is a, anything that never once had a set of eyes. That is what is considered a carbohydrate. Anyhow, without getting too drawn out in this, if you would like any more information on that topic, please do comment below or send me a message. I'd be absolutely happy to help you out with this. Let me know if you have any questions at all. If you'd like notifications of future videos that are posted, please hit that little bell notification icon down below and you will get a notification each time I post a new video. Please do subscribe. And until next time, the rest of my information is linked in the description box below. And until next time, have super amounts of fun in your life. Have super amounts of fun trying new things. And I'll see you next time. Bye.